Recognize her? Should I? That's a little Mo Connolly. Probably just about the greatest tennis player in the whole world. Doctor? An intern. How bad is it? You're gonna be fine, just fine. I bet you're a good doctor. But you're a lousy liar. my song. Unforgettable. So pretty. Aesthetic. Now try to relax. Just let go. Think of something pleasant. One of the happiest times of your life. I know there have been many. is the story of a little girl in a big hurry. Hey. Hey, 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 take it easy. Take, wait, stop, stop, stop. Honey, this is a 25-cent pony ride. You're not booting home a derby winner. Every time she comes in here, she wears my ponies to a frazzle. Well, she's just you know, enjoying herself. Sassafras likes to stretch out. Sassafras isn't running this concession, and neither are you. It isn't fair to hold him back, keep him from doing his best. Now look, either you jog along nice and easy like the other kids, or you ride somebody else's ponies. Someday I'm gonna have my own horses. The sooner the better. 
Give my pony a rest. Come on. Come on. Maureen, come on. They were just being friendly. Number of sailors on the streets in San Diego. You wonder who's on the ships. I think someday I might marry a sailor. I made that mistake once. You're not going to. Oh, well. You're a lot of years away from getting married. Jess? Mm hmm One of the matrons quit today. Off to a defense plant, she said. Mm. Even left you doing her job as well as your own. Oh, well, she's not the kind to carry her own weight anyway. Always off having a little air or a sip of coffee. She spent more time in the bathroom than she did on her job. Ruth Ann Nieberger went to the bathroom 11 times in one day. I kept count. Hmm, so that's what you do in school, huh? I won a dime bet. 10 cents closer to buying sassafras. You know, I was just thinking, Jess, if I was to recommend you for that court matron's job, they'd hire you tomorrow. Me? Oh, Aunt Gert. Well, the money's not bad. A little less than I make, but then um, I've been at it for 16 years. I, 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 I don't think I could ever do it. Wouldn't hurt to give it a try. What's it amount to, anyway? Just keeping a few mixed-up girls in line. It terrifies me just thinking about it. I'd be hopeless. If I can do it, you can. Oh, no. No. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you're in charge. You see, I, uh... I don't have your kind of strength. People seem to sense that in me, even children. Yeah, you can make people think what you want them to think. <laughs> Sixteen years ago, I was scared, too. I... I wish I were doing more to help pay the bills, Gert. You know, it's not right you carrying as much of the burden as you do. No burden. It's just that however much money we've got coming in, we can always use a little more. Well... Let me think about it. Wish I could be a matron or work in a defense plant. By the time I make enough money to buy a horse, I'll be too old to ride it. Now you just have a little patience, Maureen. You get to be my age, you'll know there's time enough for everything. baby things. <laughs> they kept me from what I was born to do. Hey, Mom, I just wish I could play piano half as good as you do. You imagine a grown woman with hands that can barely span an octave. <laughs> I was going to be the best. The very best. You go find something else to do. Because we're playing ball. My dad says we shouldn't let you in the game. Suppose you got hurt. When I didn't play so good, you never worried about me getting hurt. 
Okay. Okay. I will find something else. That day you set off to find something else, Maureen. Your life, my life, a lot of other lives might have been very different if you'd decided to turn left instead of right. yourself useful? Shag balls for me. I'll let you hit some later. Try it again, Janie. That's good. Oh, Susie, come on, move. That's better. Try it again, Jane. Come on, you're going to sleep out there. Okay, girls, that's it for today. Bye, Mr. Balson, thank you. Bye. See you next week. On Thursday. Well, you got a better workout than they did. What's your name? Maureen, Maureen Connolly. Wilbur Folsom. Mr. Folsom, could I hit a few? Oh, yeah, I did promise you that, didn't I? Sure you're not too tired? Here, try that one. A lefty. I can hold it. Okay, we'll start with the basic grip. This is the forehand. Good. Come on, let's see you hit a few. Okay, Marine, here's what I want you to do. You stand sideways here at the baseline with your right foot toward the net. Now, when you start your swing, start it there. You don't have to bring the racket back any further than that, OK? I'm going to drop some balls in front of you, and I just want you to swing nice and easy. Try and get them over the net. You ready? Take it easy. What's wrong with me? You're pushing too hard. You can't expect to just pick up a racket and hit it like a pro the first time. Give yourself a chance. Here you go. Mr. Folsom! I'm OK. <laughs> Sometimes if I move too fast, the hinge locks. There. Well, at least I never get a Charlie horse. Now, watch me. Here. Get to loosen up. Nice and smooth. It's like netting a butterfly. You try it.
Folsom, could I chase balls for you regular? I couldn't pay you much. Oh, just let me use a racket. Teach me. Please? Okay. Hop around tomorrow afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, I'll be ready whenever. Where'd you get that ball? I got it out of the trash. Give me a chance to get some coffee. Loosen your grip. Don't try to kill every shot. Can I try a game? You act like you can't count on tomorrow. You've done enough for today. Give yourself a rest. I'm not tired. Then give me a rest. Mr. Folsom, am I getting better? You could develop into a good little player, Maureen, if you don't burn yourself out. dark. I'm practicing. <laughs> practicing what? To be an owl? What's that supposed to be? A tennis racket? Sort of. I made it. Let's say hello to Mr. Burst. Hello. Hi. Big girl like you ought to be inside helping her mother instead of out here playing games in the dark. Uh, Gus is taking me to a movie. Now, honey, you better stay inside with the doors locked till Aunt Gert gets back. Okay. Have a nice time, Mom. It's an Esther Williams movie. <laughs> hey, you want to go in for sports, kid, take a lesson from her. A million bucks a year just for swimming back and forth in the pool, and she don't even get her hair wet. <laughs> <laughs> Night, Maureen. Night, Mom. I was going to do that in the morning. I like to iron. You can see what you've done. Take pride in it. Maureen all right? Oh, all of a sudden, she wants to know why she's left-handed. Can you change from being left-handed to right? Do I know any famous people who are left-handed? Was her father left-handed? 
Who the kid has more questions than the catechism? Have a good time? Must have been a sad movie. <laughs> no. It was a comedy. Gus, uh, has a way of saying things. He doesn't mean to hurt. It seems like I've heard that before. Oh, Eighty million men in this country, and it, you always seem to end up with a kind that promise you a good time and bring you home in tears. Well, Gus is a good man. I'm not saying he isn't. I was just wondering out loud if you two are a, a match set. I have a very nice pair of blue shoes, and I have a very nice pair of brown shoes. Now, I like them both, but I never wear one brown and one blue. He isn't perfect. Neither am I. And he's strong, and he's sure of himself. I, I need to be close to someone like that. We'll find someone who'll give you that without all the hurt. <laughs> They're not waiting in line. I'm not young. I'm not a wealthy widow. I have a child. Nothing to offer. Oh. Jess, Jess, if all your life you've, you've underrated yourself. Settle for less than you deserve. If I could buy you for the price you put on yourself, and sell you for what you're really worth, I'd be the wealthiest woman in California. Aunt Gert, I'm scared, and I'm lonely. But I'll think about what you said. You know, when you're young, you make promises to yourself. I swore that if I lived to be a hundred, I would never become an irritating old meddler. And here I am. What you don't know when you're young is how hard it is to draw a line between meddling and caring. What time? One? Fine. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, now, what are you up to? I want to play with my right hand. You were doing fine left-handed. I heard you say once that the best players were right-handed. I meant tournament players. The best are right-handed. I want to be right-handed. Just like that, huh? Look, Maureen, as far as I'm concerned, there's no better game than tennis. You get out in the court a couple of days a week with a pal and you stretch yourself, mentally as well as physically, and you have a good time doing it. But when you're talking about tournament play, you're talking about a full-time job, giving your whole life to the game. Well, you're giving your life to it. Well, with me, it's different. I... All right, stubborn, if you want to learn to play right-handed, you better have some help. Licensed nunnery that you're running here just no good. I mean, how old was the kid when Connie moved out? Nearly four. A couple of years after that, you hear he's had it in the head on somewhere in Texas. So Maureen doesn't even have a part time father. Gus, 
I'm, I'm weighing everything you've said to me. I, I just can't be rushed. up I, I need to talk to you Well, in the morning no mom please it's important doesn't anybody ever go to sleep in this house I couldn't sleep I'm making some coffee will you talk with mr. Folsom tomorrow hmm? who's mr. Folsom he's a tennis instructor at the university courts he wants to talk with you about me see if I'm going ahead with tennis I need a racket of my own and, and lessons yeah, well, uh, Maureen, we can go into all that later. Oh, no, Mom, please. This means more to me than anything. What, are you playing tennis? I know I can be good at it. Maybe even the best. I want to play in tournaments. I want to go all the way to Forest Hills and Wimbledon. But I need help. I need a racket and, and lessons. You know, we, uh, we live on a very tight budget. Oh, well, Mr. Folsom won't charge you a lot. Just, just go and see him. But there are lots of other ways a healthy girl can have fun without spending money we don't have. I won't ask you for any money. I won't go to the movies. You don't have to buy me any clothes. No. No. We cannot afford it. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, you better get some sleep. Jess. Jess, come here a minute, please. I can find the extra dollars. No. It's not the money. If she wants to play tennis, for fun, enjoy herself, fine. But, but, but this business of, of dreaming of tournaments and all those places she was talking about, she's just asking for disappointment, heartache. Maybe. I hope so. You know. And the higher they are, the louder the crash when they fall. You're not thinking of Maureen. I want to protect her. She has the strength to face anything that comes. Disappointment or success. Oh, Jess, give her the chance. Can't we talk about this in the morning? 